Hello friends, in the present video, we will discuss about the negative skin friction. Negative skin friction. So for this, uh, let us consider a pile. Let us consider a pile like this. And uh, at the so along the length of the pile, let us imagine we are having two different soil strata. And a uh, top soil is filled with loose or soft soil. And uh, below of it, let us imagine we are having some dense soil. And let us assume that you are applying it external load on the pile. As you are applying external load on the pile, the end bearing resistance will be generated, let us say QB, and frictional resistance will also be generated. So, if you are placing, or uh, if there is a loose or soft soil above the dense soil, then as you are applying the load, this soil will try to drag this pile in the downward direction. That means, Instead of resisting this external load, this loose soil will try to drag this pile in the downward direction. That means the friction resistance that is generating in the opposite direction. Or we can say this soil is try to move the pile in the soil in the downward direction, just like this. But in the dense portion, the soil will resist the loading. As it traces the loading, the reaction will be in the upward direction. That means if you observe here, in the portion of dense soil, the, the soil will try to resist the external applied load. That means the direction is opposite to the Q. But in the loose soil, this soil will try to drag this pile in the direction of the force. That means instead of resisting it, these are behaving in opposite nature. These are behaving like your load is also try to move in downward direction and also this loose soil will also try to drag this pile in the downward direction. So that's why this portion from the loose soil or soft portion, let us say the over length of L1, we are having some negative skin friction. That means instead of resisting the load, the soil is dragging the pile in the downward direction. And that is that means your capacity of the pile is reduces in the power portion of length L1. So, what about the ultimate capacity of a pile? That will be equal to, we can consider it as a QB plus QS. There will not be any changes in the end bearing resistance. But what about the QS? QS is nothing but a QS2 over the length L2. The force is resisting, but for the portion of L1, we have to subtract it by because as it is acting in the direction of the force. Frictional resistance into AS2 minus frictional resistance into AS1. Already you know what is meant by QS1. In this portion, what is the QS1? That will be equal to alpha into C1 bar. In this portion, QS2 that will be equal to alpha into C2 bar. What about AS1 here? That will be nothing but a pi D into L1. In this portion, what about AS2? That will be equal to pi D into L2. So we have to remember only one thing. If it is a negative skin friction, instead of resisting the load, the soil will behave it like an externally applied load. That's why we have to remove that part from the resisting force. That's why in the portion of QS2, we have to subtract the value. QS1. Now, in which cases it will occur? Suppose 
if you are having two different soils suppose if you are placing cohesive soil over the non cohesive soil then in this case as the load is applied this cohesive soil will get consolidated as this gets consolidated then it will develop the negative skin friction uh, this is one type of the case where the skin friction is developed in second if there is an increase in surcharge surrounding the soil wherever there is an increase in surcharge surrounding the soil the surrounding soil will get compacted as the soil is gets compacted that will drive the pile in the downward direction so in that case also we will say negative skin friction will develop increase in surcharge over surrounding soil and also if there is any uh, decrease in ground water table or else we can say lowering ground water table so if you want to manually if you want to reduce the ground water table level then as uh, you are decreasing the ground water table level the effective stress will increase that will also cause the soil gets compacted as the soil gets compacted again that will cause the negative skin friction and also because of the dynamic or seismic effect so among these all cases uh, the negative skin friction will develop as it is a negative skin friction that means our uh, load carrying capacity of the pile will be decreased in the next video we will solve a problem based on the skin friction thank you